Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lursey and today I'm going to show you a new feature in Photoshop CS6. Well actually it's an enhancement to an existing feature and that is an addition they've done to the gradient map. Uh, and let me show you how that works. I've got just a, a black and white image here. I'm going to go down, click right here, which will bring up this little menu. I'm going to choose gradient map. And what this is going to do is um, if you click right here, you're going to see all these different presets. Now I will show you this real quick. You may not see the list like this. You may just see the small thumbnails or the large thumbnails like that. But uh, if you'll click on this little uh, icon right there and go to large list, it'll go back and give you what it looks like with a little bit of um, text next to it. So what you do with these, and you can click through these, and there's all kinds of really interesting effects you can do. I think that's actually kind of cool looking. But um, if you click on the black and white, right there it's going to give you a pretty cool looking uh, black and white. Let's hit OK. And it, it's done it here on a, uh, on a layer mask above, so you can turn it off and on. It looks pretty nice. Now that was actually something that was already there in um, CS5. But let's click back on it again. And what we're going to do is right under here, click on this icon again. Uh, they've added a new preset here, or set of presets called photographic toning. If you click on that, first it's going to ask you if you want to add these, uh, add the photographic ones. You just hit that, it'll add them in here. Or if you want to replace these with the new ones, I'm just going to hit OK so it replaces them. And it's going to bring up a whole bunch of presets. Uh, a lot of them emulate alternative processes and some unusual photographic techniques. Some of them are kind of weird and uh, really far out there. But um, some of them are kind of interesting, like the copper. The uh, Come up here to the uh, platinum. Makes for really nice black and white. Selenium. A little more in there in the shadows looks nice. Uh, there's a bunch of sepias. There's a sepia antique, which kind of gives that really old-fashioned orangish brown type look that you used to see all the time so there's some cool stuff um, I, I personally like platinum but uh, you click on that hit OK and there you go we can look at the before and the after that's what we had there it is with the effect applied to it, it gives it just a, a little bit of a different type black and white look which is kinda nice let's look at another one um, let's drop that out of the way here's a, a color image so we'll try uh, converting this one, doing it all at the same time. Same thing. I'm going to go down here, click gradient map, and let's try this one with the CP antique, or the selenium. Ah, how about that? That's nice. Let's try the selenium one, and there you go. Look at the before and the after. And it's kind of a cool look. Now I will show you this. If you'll click back on here. If you decide that you're uh, not, not crazy about these or you want to go back the other way, it's no problem. Click on the icon and just do um, reset. Hit OK. And it'll switch you back to the uh, original ones you had before. And so uh, you can play around with that and um, see what you like. But anyways, it's just a new tool that um, uh, I think gives uh, you the option of creating a, a little bit of a different black and white look. So play around with it and see what kind of results you come up with. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, be sure and let me know. And check back for more tutorials. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.